Hey everyone, Chloe here and welcome back to this feminine space. And if you are new here, ladies and lurkers and ear hustlers, welcome. And for a bit of house cleaning, if you want more feminine school videos, subscribe to change your life. Let's get those likes up and please share this video if you care. Now in today's feminine school video, I wanted to have a conversation about womanhood discernment and about a topic that a lot of women who are single in the dating and marriage marketplace will often confuse and conflate because they lack womanhood understanding and they lack feminine game. And when a woman lacks feminine game, that is when she is inclined to get hustled. And although this video is for women of all ages, this video is especially for my younger listeners who are as young as 16 and 17 and 23 on this channel, who are lacking in experience when it comes to understanding men and male psychology. And I have said this so many times on my channel before, but men and women do not think the same and they do not view relationships the same as we do. And they're not supposed to, as we need the masculine divine for a specific purpose. And that is for protection, provision, and for covering. We do not need the masculine divine ladies to be feminine. We need it to be masculine so that we can create harmony with each other. But the more you understand male psychology, ladies, the more you will better understand where you stand in your man's life. So jumping right in, one of the most common amateur and rookie mistakes that a woman will make as women have the ego tendency to believe that they can change a man or they tend to dupe themselves into believing that a man's actions isn't his truth. But a lot of women tend to confuse a man's attention for a man's investment or his willingness to commit, adore, and cherish. And a lot of women tend to confuse and conflate a man giving them a baby or giving them the stare down or giving them that look or a man flattering them with some word salad or a man wanting to sleep with you with a man who is sincerely invested in you. And there are levels to attraction that many women are not aware of. So here are the key levels of attraction to pay attention to when dealing with a man. Uh, now starting with number five, a man who's just window shopping. Men who window shop are simply just browsing to see what is available and what is on the menu. Capturing a man's gaze can be a tremendous boost to a woman's ego, but make no mistake about it, when a man is window shopping, he won't approach you or ask you out because he is just looking. Window shopping is not to be ever confused with a man investing in you or with a man wanting to spend the rest of his life with you. Number four, a man who is just looking for low hanging fruit. Now, no woman wants to view herself as low hanging fruit, but the term low hanging fruit is what it implies. Fruit that is easy to pick. Low hanging fruit typically implies little to no investment, easy SEX, casual SEX, perpetual low effort dating. These are your coffee dates, walks in the park, bar drink only dates, those Netflix and chill dates from rip low hanging fruit dates is low effort dating that doesn't come with any established standards or expectations from your part. Again, low hanging fruit implies easy pickings and zero to very little resistance. And for my women who are interested in being hypergamously courted, do not entertain coffee dates only to then spin the block and feel some kind of way when a man wants to experience you on the cheap. Do not think that cutting corners for a man by making it easier for him to have access to you will make him like you more. That is called lowballing yourself. Ladies, becoming a man's doormat, being an overgiver, a placeholder, bending over backwards, barking like a dog, or any other self-sacrificing behavior will ultimately send the message that you view him as the prize. Ladies, do not do a man's job for him. Men like to chase and they like to earn their objects of affection because they are wired to compete. You making it easy for him deprives him of the chase that takes both the seduction and the fun out of the pursuit. Ladies, when you allow coffee dates to set the standard for your relationship, then more than likely you will experience more of the same throughout the entire relationship because you set the standard by making yourself a bargain. Number three, placeholder status, and yes, feathers will be ruffled, but the game is to be told and sold. Placeholders are women who have been categorized by their man as good enough for now, but they aren't that man's ultimate dream girl. Placeholder girlfriends, wives, sugar babies, who by the way are always in position number two, or side chicks and concubines will often end up in dragged out situationships, sometimes with trap babies, 
and 50-50 partnerships as being a man's placeholder means a man not going above and beyond to provide, protect, and profess and cover. Ladies and lurkers, when a man goes over, above, and beyond for his woman, and this includes giving you his mind, his body, his soul, his spirit, and his wallet, that means you are his dream girl. Being a man's dream girl has very little to do with looks and more to do with the overall chemistry and the compatibility of a relationship and a woman's ability to capture a man's soul. Number two, a man who marks his territory. And this kind of scenario is happening all over social media where women are having children for men who have not committed to marrying them. And a lot of women will practice defensive posturing as a way to protect their egos. But most women who have babies by a man will jump at the chance of marrying that man if he acts. But instead, a lot of women will instead settle for a man planting his flag and marking his territory. This is usually a man who wants to turn his concubine, his side chicks, or his placeholder girlfriend into a single mother while still remaining legally single or a man who intentionally positions himself to not invest in marriage. Men who mark their territory are men who are not marriage material, but are more than willing to mark their territory to lower that woman's chances of having anyone else invest in her. And this is a selfish territorial thing that a lot of dusty men do and that a lot of women allow them to do. Some examples of this are Future with Sierra and his clown car full of baby mothers, Khloe Kardashian with Tristan, third trimester Thompson, the baby and Danny Lay, Summer Walker and London on the track, and Kourtney Kardashian with Scott the Sick. And thankfully, most of these women have recovered from the awful mistakes of dealing with men who are incapable of investing. Marking a woman's territory and making her a single mother is a very common sport for men who aren't fully invested because a lot of women get duped into believing that having a man's baby will ultimately keep him around forever. And nothing can be further from the truth. And here's to hoping that Big Sean does follow through and marry his longtime girlfriend, Janae Aiko. And finally, number one, invest. And this happens to be the stage of masculine commitment that most women are after. And if you are the exception to the rule of women who could care less about a man's investment, then this video isn't for you. But men who are wholly invested in a woman will usually give the following through their actions, their time, their money, their heart, and ultimately their last name. In other words, they are zeroed in, they view you as the prize, and they will do anything within their power to secure the deal as you are literally the apple of their eyes. This level of commitment is the ultimate form of investment that most women after the age of 25 and up will ultimately desire. Ladies, the truth of a man will always be demonstrated in his actions, not in his word salad, not in his flattery, and not in his pillow talk but his actions. So if a man is dragging it, he's hemming, he's hawing it, he's stuttering, and he's stalling, or is making excuses to not follow through on that engagement, especially if that is what you want, and then you aren't his dream girl. But the good news is, is that if you're not the one for him, then he isn't the one for you. A huge part of successful womanhood is learning how to walk away from the table when we don't like what is being served, and learning how to walk away with your worth and your dignity before it is dragged for filth. Ladies, as a solution, if you want to increase your chances of getting a man to invest in you, roster date because you are single until you are married. And the purpose of dating is to collect data and intel. Do not go into dating with the mindset of wanting to be picked or with the fairy tale idea that your date night is going to turn into a delusional version of pretty woman where you are swept away, spent gobs of money on and are asked to be married after two dates. Dating is about developing the feminine art of discernment and is about understanding the true value of compatibility, chemistry, and of being on the same page. So that is all that I have to say on this for now. Ladies, never confuse a man's attention with his investment, and you will know where you stand in a relationship in usually six months or less, and definitely within a year. So ladies and lurkers, to get this conversation started, have you ever confused a man's words for his actions? Have you ever confused the fireworks of lust with a man's investment? And have you ever experienced a man who only wanted to plant his flag? And as always, stay tuned for more feminine school videos to come. And I will catch up with you ladies and lurkers and ear hustlers in the next one.